is the solution to that. Uh, but not falling behind in the uh, in the technology science race with uh, India and with China. Two things. First, they have created an appetite in their young folk for education that some of our young folk don't have. Because their dream is to become a PhD and then be able to come to America to work and climb the corporate ladder, pursue that dream. So they have a they have a, just a burning desire to come to this great country. Secondly, I believe that some of our universities uh, are hamstrung in terms of some of the things that they could do and should do in order to encourage more kids. For example, the cost of education in this country has continued to skyrocket, especially at the university level. That's one impediment right there. And so I believe that it's got to start at the universities in terms of getting more of our young people on some of these PhD programs. And do you have any specific plans for that? I don't have any specific plans for that other than to go talk to the heads of the universities. You see, one of my fundamental beliefs about every issue we have is, are we working on the right problem? And one of my guiding principles is, go talk to the people closest to the problem, and they probably have an idea about how you fix it. That's okay. one of my guiding principles. So this that's is why. An amazing, that's yeah. an amazing novel. <laughs> it's a novel idea. Okay. Rational. Uh, Talk to the people who know something about it. So one of the things that I would do in terms of the determining what we need to do to address that particular issue relative to education is talk to the educators. I know some former college presidents that would love to spend time trying to hammer out what do we need to do in order to get more and more of our students interested in some of those kinds of programs. What do you think of the importance of zero through six and K through um, uh, six years old and K through six and grade in terms of stimulating people to uh, to go into science and technology fields? Yeah, I think it's critical. And, and here's another statistic about that age group: that is, we don't lose our kids in kindergarten through fourth grade. And you've probably seen it. I've seen the studies. Our kids zero to fourth zero to fourth grade. Rank right up there in the top ten with every other group of kids on the planet. We lose them from fifth grade through graduating high school. They fall behind. And that's not their fault. I think it says that we've got some issues in our educational system. Okay? And some of those issues we're seeing all over the TV today about what's going on in Wisconsin, what's going on in Indiana. It's not how much money we spend on education, it's how we spend it. The kids have got to be the center, the focus, and the, the, and, and, and the objective. Not the system, not protecting benefits, no, kids. This is why in that particular case, I think we need to encourage more charter school development. We need to encourage you know, many of our private schools. Because take anything in this country, the thing that makes it better is competition. What do you think of the Harlem Empowerment District? The Harlem Empowerment District. Yeah. Uh, I like that idea uh, because um, it, I think it gives gives them some incentives to basically fix some of their own problems, which is what I told them. I, it seems that one of the things I think is, is the most successful, and I'm wondering what you think about it, is the fact that they're actually in a, in a neighborhood where parents usually are yes. absentee parents, they're getting the parents to buy in. Yes, and how, What do you think about the importance of that? Oh, you, you said the magic word. Parents have got to take back charge of their kids' education. That's where it starts. You can't just expect to teach it. They've got to go to PTA meetings. They've got to get involved. They've got to be just as excited about working with their kids and not just leaving it to the teachers. When I was growing up, I went to a high school uh, that was a brand new high school in a relatively poor area of town. We didn't have the latest technology. I went, this was back in the 60s, in the late 50s. We didn't have necessarily the best technology. We didn't have the latest textbooks. We may not have even had the latest anything. But we had great teachers who cared. 
more about the students than they did about their retirement benefits package. That's what will make the difference with respect to education. Well, listen, thank you very much. Thanks, Alan. Pleasure. Who's your man? Uh, I